Back in medieval times, much of the area around Barnborough in Yorkshire was heavily wooded. Of course, in those days, many creatures were around that no longer exist in the wild in England. Bulls, bears, and especially wild cats. These fearsome predators were not like the cats that we have as pets. Being of a different species, they were untamable, much larger, stronger, and more aggressive. It is no wonder that we nowadays have the expression, like a wild cat, to describe a vicious person. These creatures were considered such a problem that licenses were granted to hunt the wild cats in the vicinity. The richest aristocrats in the area at the time were the Cressacres. They owned a lot of the land locally and were regular contributors to St Peter's Church in the village. In the 15th century, the most prominent nobleman of the family was Sir Percival Cressacre, who lived at Barnborough Hall. Percival was prone to engage in business and social meetings in nearby towns and then to return alone on horseback at night. On one such occasion, he had been to Doncaster and was making his way back along the wooded path between High Melton and Barnbury. And suddenly, something sprang out of the bushes and onto the back of the horse. When Percival looked behind him, he realised that this was a crazed wildcat, even larger than normal for that kind of creature. The horse was immediately startled, of course, and began to buck and whinny, but the cat only dug its claws and teeth in more deeply. By now the poor horse was so terrified that it violently threw off not only the wild cat, but its rider too. Percival crashed to the ground heavily, and as the horse ran off, he tried with difficulty to get to his feet. But now the wild cat turned its attention upon him, launching itself at his throat and digging in with its teeth. As the nobleman struggled along towards the lights of the village, he repeatedly attempted to cast the vicious animal off, but to no avail. There ensued a terrible, drawn-out struggle, with the two both trying their utmost to kill each other. A struggle which lasted all the way to the village and to the steps of St Peter's Church itself. Well, it would seem that Percival had intended to get inside the church and perhaps to close its heavy door on the creature. However, the stricken man had already lost too much blood. He was unable to open the door and collapsed on the steps. With one last effort, he stamped his riding boot against the gut of the animal, so crushing it against the wall of the porch. The cat died, squealing in pain. Then Percival himself perished soon after. And so the man killed the cat, and the cat killed the man. Of course, Percival's disappearance had not gone unnoticed, especially since his injured and terrified horse had shown up at Barnborough Hall without its rider. A search began, and it was not long before the two combatants were found, both covered in each other's blood. There is an effigy in St Peter's Church, the knight in full armour with a cat at his feet and over the years this has been assumed by many to be a depiction of Sir Percival himself with his assailant. However the effigy does predate Sir Percival by at least a hundred years so this cannot be the case. In addition the cat depicted is actually a lion but not intended to be life-size of course which is probably some kind of symbolic or heraldic emblem. Some have guessed that this might have been an association with the Crusades. But there is some debate on even that matter. Whatever the truth, it does seem rather curious that the effigy, possibly of Sir Percival's ancestor, should be shown with a cat when Percival himself was killed by a similar animal in later years. Almost as if it were a prediction and could it be pure accident that some of the stones of the church have a bloody reddish tinge to them? Setting aside the conjecture, it is a fact that local people have often heard unusual and unearthly caterwaulings and screeches emanating from the location at night. It is also a fact that the legend of Sir Percival and his attacker 
is so well known that locally St. Peter's was more commonly known as the Cat and Man Church.